President Biden is expected to make an announcement regarding increased LNG supplies to Europe. Have you heard anything from the U.S. President um, about those energy supplies that would convince you then to potentially sanction Russia's energy? And also, is there ever a scenario that you can see where you would be prepared to pay Russian rubles for Russian energy? So to the second question, I already answered uh, it and said that due to the knowledge we have, most uh, agreements and most treaties are absolutely precise about the currency in which the, uh, in which, uh, the, the payment has to be done. And uh, so this is what we know. And this is uh, how it is today. And we will follow the situation and the development, but it looks like that this is ab absolutely clear in most cases, as far as we understand. And uh, the um, question on LNG. You should know that, uh, especially me, there are a lot of persons, and especially me in Germany, that are working since a long time to diversify the energy supply for our country. And this is due to the fact that uh, in a former task, I had been the mayor of the city of Hamburg. And since that time, I worked on getting LNG terminals to the northern shore of Germany because of seafaring, but also because of getting more independent supply chains uh, for Germany and uh, for what we uh, can use if there are difficult situations. But uh, the outcome of the activities I followed and I cooperated with is that we already have a lot of relatively far developed plans for uh, LNG ports in northern Germany, which I think is a good circumstance because now we have not to start for duty planning. We can start with starting the action. And this is what is going on now, especially two terminals are relatively likely that the building process will start this year. And we are discussing with the, with the companies that are doing this that they should try to hurry up. And we are working on changing the legal scenario of this uh, activity that it can be done faster than it usually, in, in a shorter time as it usually would take. So this is what we did. and so. The truth is Germany is already working on diversifying the supply for the time we live in. And this fits very much to the long-term strategy we have. As you know, Germany is planning for getting rid of imports of coal, oil and gas in a relatively short time. 2045, we want to be a CO2 neutral industrial country. And being one of the biggest industrial countries in Europe and globally, it is something if Germany is saying this because a lot of the energy supply we have is not for what people think, mobility or for housing and things like that. It's uh, because of the industry. And uh, if we are doing this, that we get rid of that, if we increase the production of electricity, for instance, with uh, wind energy, with uh, solar energy, if we strengthen our grid, if we work very hard to use hydrogen, which we will import as we will as we import gas today, this will change the whole scenario. And many of the partners we are working now with are very happy to be also the partners, not just for a short-term gas supply, for instance, with LNG, but for a long-term supply with hydrogen, which we then can use for our steel industry or chemical industry or so. So this is an already existing strategy which becomes now more velocity and which we will work on and this is one of the decisions we already took.